Hello, and in this vehicle of the Swift Escape, we've got two tables. Uh, the one at the rear area here is a freestanding table. It's located inside the wardrobe. Uh, so for transit, you're gonna find it. It's a turnbuckle catch just on the side wall here. So a turnbuckle catch retains it in place. Just release that, let that drop a little bit forward towards yourself and lift it up out of the uh, wardrobe. And I'll just close that wardrobe again. And then with the table leg, just press and release that little lever there to allow the table leg to lift up. Same on this side, so just press it down, allow the table leg to lift up. And then if you just rotate it, make sure you've got nobody else in the face behind you. And that is your freestanding table. Your choice as to whether you use it in the uh, rear fixed area here, or you might want to use this outside for outside use, hence the reason why it's freestanding. Uh, so that's this particular table makeup in the escape at the rear of this vehicle. So I'll just put that back quickly, lower the table leg down, press that one down, lower it down, lift the table up, careful when you insert it back into the housing itself, just make sure you're not going to cause any damage anywhere, put it in on the bottom edge first, and then lower the turnbuckle catch to retain it in place, and that one is back in place as needs be. The one at the front end of the vehicle is a fitted fixed item. So it's not removable, uh, it does move, but it's uh, what you use also to make the bed up. But I'll just show you where it is now. Uh, actually, I'll bring another piece of board in with me, I think. If I get the right piece, bear with me a moment. So also in the wardrobe is another extension part to the table. It's on the other side wall. That's it there. Also retained in place by turnbuckle catches. So I'm gonna take that with me just for the moment. Again, just careful when you take it out. I'm going to take that forward. I'm not necessarily going to use it straight away. Uh, I'm going to just demonstrate the actual table itself, uh, which is this item here. So it's got a couple of levers. You've got one as a release mechanism here, as you can see, and there's another lever arm just to the side there, which allows you to lock and release accordingly. So it allows you to slide it. It allows you to slide it. So these releases allow you to go in different directions with this particular mechanism. I think I'm right, you can rotate it. I might have that wrong. Yes, you can rotate it as well, should you wish to. So quite versatile in the uh, actual table makeup, depending on where anybody's sitting, they can obviously use it. The other item to this is, if I just face it this way, just to make it easier for everybody to see. Uh, if you look on the end of the table, there's a little recess there where my finger's going into now, and a recess on this end of the table which allows this extension arm to come into place and you bring it in like so. Just make sure you've got those arms going, oops, make sure you've got those arms going in properly. Perhaps I'm not gonna do that right. Bear with me a minute. I'll feed that one in first, I think, because I'm farthest away from the hole. I can't see what I'm doing. There it goes. And then bring this one, so this one's going in. There they go. You bring the two pieces together and there is a retaining clip underneath uh, that you just need to locate in place so that goes over there like so and then locks in place like so so that table is now one the reason i've shown you that uh, is because when we come to make a double bed up we need this extension arm in as well this is part of the uh, bed rear section here that we're going to make a double bed up with now so watch this video going further forward 